What's up guys, welcome back to Supercars of Westchester. Recently, there has been some more news surfacing about the C8-Z06 with yet another spy shot of what that will look like. It still has some camo on it, but much less than usual. And with this image that has been going around, it has spiked yet another set of renders in hopes that a Z06, ZR1, or even a Zora model will take on some of these features from these renders. So let's dive right in and take a look. The first one here is from Competition Carbon. I'll leave a link in the description for their Instagram page where you can check them out and all of their cool designs. This design here is absolutely amazing. Every panel on this car has been altered or changed from the original C8 design to make it way more aggressive than the standard Stingray. Starting at the front of the car, you will notice the headlights, or lack thereof, and while this would not be a street legal concept, it does seem to give the overall front end a different shape. However, I'm a huge fan of the new C8 headlight design, so for me it's kind of a bummer not to see them here. I do really like that downward sloping front hood design, which would most likely be functional with the added air intakes in the front bumper. Coming along to the side, you will notice the wider and larger side air intakes, similar to that of the C8R, but now with the additional lower air duct for brake cooling, which is typically seen on the Z06 variants. And this does not look like a cheap aftermarket element that's been added on. This is all one piece that is connected to that entire rear quarter panel. On the rear end, you can see that the taillights have a darker tint to them, and the rear diffuser is much larger and more aggressive. The overall shape of this rear diffuser looks very close to what the latest Z06 spy shot looked like, with the minimal camo that was covering it. One thing to notice though is the lack of the rear exhaust in this design, because if you look close enough, the exhaust has been relocated to the rear deck lid similar to that of the McLaren 600LT. I can't imagine this design would make it to an actual production model, but it sure is really cool to see. And sandwiched in between those two exhaust pipes is a massive roof scoop. This design is so cool, it takes up pretty much the entire rear end over the engine bay and completely blinds you from seeing the engine underneath the glass, as in the standard C8 Stingray, but you have to admit that is pretty crazy looking. As you glance through some of these renders, they show what it would look like with and without the roof on, and it looks pretty badass either way. Not to mention what it would actually sound like while it's sucking up all that air when driving. Overall, this design is probably one of my favorites so far. I'm sure a lot of these elements would not likely make its production, but it makes you wonder what is coming later on down the road when the aftermarket scene is in full force. The next render here is this one. My favorite element from this render is that rear end. I'm not typically a fan of chassis mounted wings and I'm not too sure how I feel about this one either but I do like the redesigned rear bumper with those air vents just underneath the taillights. Speaking of taillights, they seem to have been changed to clear to replicate that of the C7Z06, which looks really cool in this design. The larger rear diffuser looks great and the larger singular exhaust on either side works really well with this. Overall, I like this a lot. Some other things to note on the lower rendering here is the roof scoop, what looks to be two side skirts joining together, which is a really cool design a ZR1 style hood, and an updated front bumper with some aggressive aero components. This thing would look pretty menacing on the street. This one here I thought was interesting. I do like those louvered fenders which we have seen in other renders before, but they're a little different here. A little more subtle and not too over the top which is nice. That massive rear spoiler I'm sure will turn some heads, but not too confident that it will be a crowd pleaser. I think it's a bit too tall for this design. Another thing to notice here is the two-piece side skirts and two front splitters. Also some added ventilation on the hood as well. This one here I thought was pretty cool and interesting looking. I'm a big fan of matte black cars and this kit on this render looks awesome. If you look closely at the side of the car, it looks to have the carbon fiber aero kit from the factory and then another kit on top of that to make it wider to sit flush with the wider rear fenders. This one also has a roof scoop and a gigantic rear wing that seems to have only one center pillar attaching it to the car. The wheels give it more of a futuristic look. Probably my least favorite render of this group, but I thought it was interesting enough to show here. Well, that will sum it up for this video. Let me know which one you like the best and what elements you would like to see in the future variants of the C8. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.